Rise and shine, family. All right, so a lot of people are asking me or saying that they have a relationship with God, but they're not religious. So just how do you demonstrate a relationship with God? Let's really deal with that. If you have a relationship with a person, it's built on dynamics and trust between you and that person. You actually get to hear them talk. You get to see them talk. You get to interact with them. How do you have a relationship with God? Think about this now. You say he speaks to you, right? I heard God speak to me. When is it ever applicable to your life when God speaks to you? Think about it. Preachers stand in a position to say they hear from God. So God never tells them when the church is getting shot up, though. So God gives your preacher a message, tells you, tells that preacher to go to church and preach that message on the day that it's going to get shot up. But he doesn't alarm the preacher. Here's a bigger problem. The members in the church, don't they pray? Don't they also say that they have a relationship with God? Why didn't he tell any of them, at least just don't go to church today? At least call in, call the police, alarm them that someone's going to try to attack the church today. No, nothing. They just get shot. Just like as if there, weren't, there wasn't a God that doesn't speak. You believe God speaks, right? There are women who have lost their children, who have believed that their children were still alive for years, only to find out years later that child, the child was dead the whole time. Why didn't God alleviate them from that hope? Why didn't God say, I, I have already taken them home? Why would God lead them to pray to God, asking for protection for a child that it already knew was gone? I'm talking about sometimes the cops find the bones of the child years after they have been murdered. And the parent prayed to God all the time and yet still believed that their child could be alive. God didn't tell them anything. When is it applicable to your life? That's what I want to know. Honestly, we say God speaks, right? Why do we look in caves for documents that came from God if we have a relationship with God? Why do we care about Dead Sea Scrolls if we have a relationship with God? Why do we care about codexes and different forms of literature that were written way back in the day? Why do we care about this stuff if God actually speaks, if we have a relationship with God? Last question. Callie asked this question on his lives a couple, a while back. But the question is this, and then my homie D asked the question the other day, um, or last night. Um, the question was, if God speaks to us, then why are we not still writing Bibles? If God is still inspiring us today and God is still laying words on our heart, why, why have we discontinued writing the Bible? Shouldn't we all be able to contribute to the Bible, being that we have a relationship with God and God speaks to us? Shouldn't what we write down and say was inspired by God be every bit as acceptable as Dead Sea Scrolls? Right? Codex Sinaiticus? Right? Shouldn't it be as accepted as any other literature? Shouldn't it? So then why, why do we discontinue writing about what God is telling us then? If God speaks, if you have a relationship with God, why does it, give you, why does it, why does it not give you information that can actually help you in your life? Someone's going to try to assault you. This person's bad for you. This person's talking about you. That they're just starting rumors about you. Your life is up to you, man, and the people that you place around you and the decisions that you make. There's obviously no one that has a relationship, shape, a relationship with you that knows everything because if it does, it's clearly leaving you out of the loop. Seriously, it doesn't speak because if it did, we would not be looking for literature and attributing it to, it, to this God. We wouldn't. We wouldn't be knocking the dust off of old documents and scrolls trying to figure out what God said to someone back in the day if we really truly believe it spoke. Let's be honest. Be evolution. Be the change that you want to see. And no candle loses its flame from lighting another. Peace, family.